All right, guys, today we're doing another minifigure review. This time, this is a different video. Normally, I have them up on my little turntable. You know, it's kind of suspended in the air, but we just have them sitting down here on my blank background simply because I want to take these apart and actually show you some of the different pieces that make up these cool minifigures. So this is a EOD bot minifigure is basically. So I sell these figures. I'll put links to both of them in the description below. We have the black variant and then the dark tan variant. The ones I sell on my website are a little bit different. They actually have printed armor. So it actually like has little chest plates. It says EOD, even says like EOD on the back of the helmets. So these are like the prototypes um, before I started to sell them. The company that actually makes the armor makes some that are blank like these and then the printed ones. So for the ones that I actually sell, they're printed. So you'll see that on the website though. But basically I wanna show these. I call them explosive specialists on my website just kind of fits. I didn't like the the idea of calling it like an EOD bot technician. I guess that does sound kind of cool, but I wanted to call them explosive specialists because that's what they are. They basically go out and they're bomb, you know, air quotes, bomb proof suits to go defuse bombs and um, like IEDs for, for instance in Iraq and Afghanistan, they do that a lot, but um, it's getting more and more common that you know, bomb squads use these as well, but they also use, you know, like the little EOD bot robots that can go out so you're not risking a human life, which I think is really cool. But uh, these are some of the figures. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. I'm going to show you guys probably the black one. Um, just going to take the armor off and show you kind of what it makes up of. So I'm going to move this guy kind of back in the corner there so you can still take a look at him. So for example, Actually, we might have to move him completely out of the way just so I can get my hands in here. So basically, this is what you get, is you get a minifigure here, and then the armor's super cool on this. So let's see, make sure I can get it in focus. There we go. So it's got a little visor there that you can flip up and down. And uh, it's just this one's just the black version, so it's got a black helmet. And if we twist that off, you can see the helmet right there. So it's very cool. It's got the visor once again. Very similar looking to a Lego um, like Champions Racer helmet. So we got the helmet, and then if we take the head out, which might be kind of difficult to do here, you know, we might actually have to take apart the dark tan one. One of these I remember was really stuck because it was on my shelf for a while. So let's go ahead, there we go, we can take that one apart. So let's take the dark tan one apart. So you got the helmet and the head. This one, so the dark tan one that I sell actually comes with, this is a custom printed face, kind of just a neutral face, so that's actually custom printed. The black one I sell comes with just a generic Lego smiley face, just because I thought it looked kind of cool and funny in there. So we take this off, now we get to the chest piece. So it's really cool, it's got this big neck guard around there to protect the operator, um, his neck from shrapnel if a bomb were to go off. He's got these two little mounting points. He's got like this crotch protector that goes down. Um, you can see kind of some outlines of some vests there. On the back, you do have a stud connection, so you could build off of that. You also have two more connection points down there. Um, and I think that you could fit like a Lego bar piece in there. Let's see. Yes, you can. So you've got a stud connection point as well, and you could put a bar, like a lightsaber style um, piece in there. So that's the chest piece. So that's really cool. Then we move on to the arms. So all this doesn't require glue. It's all just snapped fit on. So both the arms are like this. Um, you got a connection point there, and then you also kind of got like a little wrist guard. I think that's really cool. So you can just, all you do is you just snap it on there, and you can hear that. It's a firm snap. You can still move his arms. Obviously, they hit, his hands hit down there, um, but you do have full poseability pretty much there, and uh, it just comes on and off really easily. So let's take both of those off. And then moving on to the legs, it wraps around the entire legs. And what's really cool is, let's see if I can find a plate to demonstrate this on. He still can if I get that in focus, sit on a plate like that, or stand. He can't sit down, but uh, he can stand. So the armor does not interfere with that. So he could, you could have him standing up on a Lego plate, no problem. So that's really cool. And then moving on to the legs. So if we want to take these off, all you do is I just come around back here, and I just get my nail, if I can kind of show you that, under 
this back piece here and it just clips on. So the, what's holding it on is that little rectangle in there goes in the back stud hole. So this is what the actual piece looks like. You got a connection point there, you got the boots, you got a knee pad, um, and that's actually how it connects on. So I just push them on like this. Um, you can hear it snap in here, just like that. I would recommend like trying to leave these on. I don't know how durable they would be if you kept like taking them on and off every other day. Um, I would just pick a pair of legs to keep them on and just leave them on, um, simply because plastic does wear out and once you you know, there's stress points. If you keep doing that, it will want to break eventually. So I would just, like I said, recommend keeping it on. So then just for reassembling, all you do, I just snap the arms back on. So I normally put the legs on first, then the arms. We grab the body suit or the chest piece, which is really cool because, right, you look at this figure here, and this thing just covers up pretty much all the legs and the torso which I think looks super cool. Then you take your head of choice, snap that on there, and then we just put the helmet on and uh, we are good to go. So once again, he can go and walk around on the studs just like that and uh, he looks really awesome. So I'm really happy with the combination. So I also sell the figure, he comes with like, I think it's five or six weapons and then like a little bomb explosive piece so if you guys are interested these are on the website I thought I would do kind of more of an in-depth video this has actually been one of my most popular figures recently a lot of you guys like it and then the fact that I have two different options one being dark tan and one being black you know the dark tans more like the Iraq or Afghanistan situation the blacks more like the SWAT bomb squad situation so it kinda kinda gives you the best of both worlds so those will be linked in the description so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys enjoyed me kinda going more in depth taking apart the minifigures I think that was really cool and uh, yeah guys make sure you guys subscribe I'll put a link right there check out some more of my videos right there and there and uh, like I said, my goal is to get to 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If we can make that happen, that would be awesome. All I ask you guys is to tell one friend about the channel and ask them to check it out and maybe subscribe. And uh, if we have a bunch of people do that, we'll be at that goal in no time. So once again, hope you have a great day. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you in the next video.